Last, last one, we'll finish with uh, a new classic, because uh, we only played it the first time last week. And this was a song written deliberately to offend a certain group of society. So if there are any hardcore committed Jehovah's Seventh Adventists, uh, Anabaptists, or Scientologists, might oh, make your excuses to leave. But this was written to combat the, uh, the protesters outside the abortion clinic in Richmond. And uh, I take him down, and I take the ukulele down, and I wrote this to play to them because they really pissed me off. <laughs> that's what music's about. So that's any, any deliberately gratuitously offensive lines were they weren't last week uh, were actually in the original, but I took them out to mellow it down. But I'm going to stoke it up. Atheist to the four. Here we go. <laughs> I was shopping in the high street just like we all do And I popped into the pound shop just to save a bob or two And I came out with this 2,000 year old dead Palestinian Jew And his name was Pound Shop Jesus He was on his back all vacuum packed and looking quite deflated on a shelf all by himself, not very animated And though his tag said made in China I felt sure he'd been created just for me My pound shop Jesus <laughs> Pound shop Jesus goes with me everywhere His outside's made of plastic and his inside's full of air And if you don't believe in him then I don't really care Cause he's my pound shop Some say that he was sent to us to bring us peace and joy But others recognise he's just an inflatable toy And he isn't the messiah, he's a very naughty boy Yes he is, my pound shop Jesus And when he's feeling poorly then I lay him down and nurse him I protect him from the atheists who only want to curse him but I've never nailed him to a cross because that would surely burst him So I don't <laughs> to my pound shop Jesus Pound shop Jesus goes with me everywhere His outside's made of plastic and his inside's full of air Sometimes I kneel and pray to him to give me back my hair But he doesn't, my bastard pound shop Jesus and then my friend told me that blow-up dolls were good for sexy fun. So I searched him for his glory holes, but I couldn't find one till I flipped him on his face and found his valve shoved up his bum. And then I really loved my pound shop Jesus. I thought it'd come in handy if I had to masturbate. So I put him on his knees so I could teach him to fillet. I don't know, technically he did go down on me, it was more a slow deflate from my <laughs> blow job, blow up Jesus. <laughs> Pound job Jesus goes with me everywhere. His outside's made of plastic, but his inside's full of air. Sometimes I sit and look at him when he's sleeping bare. My lovely buttocks. I knew he didn't mind it when I but I must have laid him down to poke him. In fact, I think he liked it rough because he asked me if I'd choke him, but then I squeezed his neck too hard and then by God I damn near broke him. It was painful for my pound shop Jesus. And all at once I had to let out such an almighty scream because my Sheets had all turned bloody red and before they had been clean and I realised I'd spit my bell end on his raised internal plastic steam and now that hurt from my brown shop Jesus. Oh, I, I knew I had to end it and it all become a farce but I thought I'd clean him up first so I put him in the bath <laughs> but I had to use the Dyson to get all the gunk from out his arse oh my dirty 
pound chop Jesus goes with me everywhere His outside's made of plastic and his inside's full of air Sometimes I take his loincloth off cause I like to see him bare And he's my pound chop Jesus And then at last it came to pass our final fateful day He said his holy father needed him and he couldn't stay so I filled him up with helium and I watched him float away it was the end of my pound shop, Jesus Thank you very much, going to an abortion clinic near you uh, That was us, thank you very much We are uh, this week, the Hampton Hillbillies uh, Thanks very much to Dutch Rob from Amsterdam <laughs> It's not Amsterdam, but it annoys you when I say that and the beautiful laws on beating and hitting things. Um, thank you. And now, uh, uh, Doobies and uh, Cheesecake will come up next. And they're a proper band, so I'm glad we went first. So, pick it up for them. Thank you very much.